Hello everyone and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Once Upon a Time, uh, Season 3, Episode 7, Dark Hollow. I'm your host Dom. With me I have Miss Cleo Moto. Hello! I have Michael. Hi. And Rachel. How's it going guys? Good. Depends. Depends. The flu sucks. <laughs> Who sucks? The flu. The flu. Disembodied voice of my wife. Do you agree? What? I, what? What? <laughs> the flu. I'll take that as a yes. The flu sucks. Yeah. What'd you guys think of this episode? Um. There was think? a lot of crap in it. Good. There was a lot of crap in it. All the crap. We All finally crap. got to see Storybrook. Yay! I was, yeah, I was actually just... pretty excited. We haven't seen it in six episodes. I guess it's about time they showed us some of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't necessarily yeah. know if you could say it was... Well, yeah, I guess, because it was Wonderland where we saw the flashback, right? We still haven't even seen a flashback of, of Storybrooke. Mm -mm. Nope. nope. Not this season. Until now. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, we got to see the very beginning, like, just before Gold travels off to Neverland, he's talking to Belle, and it's revealed that he gives her a cloaking spell. Um, through the whole episode, she's kind of struggling with this thing where she does not feel important enough. Like, why do you, why do you guys think she felt so unimportant? Because um, she, she can't she's, wield magic. She, yeah, she's the non-magical one. She's stuck back there and unable to help them. Unable to wield magic. That stuff. Like, do you think this kind of boosted her confidence a little bit? That like even everybody in Storybrooke and in the Blue Fairy, especially, was like entrusting her. No, no, Rumple left you this spell. You do it. Yeah, definitely. Uh mm -hmm. <coughs> I guess it helped. Maybe helped boost boost her confidence. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I hear coughing in the background somewhere. Everybody's sick with the flu, huh? Disembodied voice is coughing. That's all. Everybody's all coughing. Everybody's got the flu. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, before it was revealed who they were, who did you guys think were were the people coming to town? Did you think anybody was coming to town at first? Uh, I, I did. didn't think anyone was until Bell said that. You know, Rumpel said there I was thought, more. People, there was more I people. Santa coming. Claus was coming to town. Santa Claus! Oh God damn it! No, so and, and Prancer. Claus. No, no. Here Stop we it. go. Here we go. Stop it. You're I, welcome. I did, I did. I expected like more agents, and then there was like, who are these hipster fucks like driving in their car? I know, right? I oh know. god, I got instant smell of hipster off of the both. Oh of them. my god, they're so hipster. <laughs> like where were they? Is that, that like Patrulli or something? Yeah, the vegan bakery. <laughs> the vegan bakery. <laughs> the bakery. I knew I'd find the root of all evil. It evil smells like responsibly uh, made soap. <laughs> responsibly made soap. Well, that's what they say. They call it responsibly made. <laughs> that was like a delay soap. effect. Responsibly, damn it! <laughs> how do you make? How do you responsibly make soap? I just picked a product. I just picked soap. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we broke them. He broke them. Yes. Hey, no, she's laughing at something completely unrelated. It'll always be my goal. No, but I think Dom, Dom is kind of just what the Dom's hell. Broken. <laughs> this is the whole episode from now. That's it. Dom's broken. Why? Dom, <laughs> why is why is Umi broken? Omi's laughing at cute little cat and dog videos. I don't think she realized we started recording. Oh, she's not sorry. Oh, now you realize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so we finally got to see Wendy. <laughs> oh my God, Omi. We finally got to see, uh, Michael, John, and Wendy. Yeah. They... <laughs> Come on. Mike's choking. I'm sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> Whew. Oh God. Oh God. You see, this is what a professional podcast looks like. Okay, yeah. This is what a professional okay. podcast Take looks notes. like. Right here. Take notes, everybody. Oh, God. Yeah, damn straight. 
Would you stop it? <laughs> I have to do this over again. I'm throwing stuff at you now. You asked me to mute my mic. You yeah, thought I was going to be the problem. Are, are we done? Yes. Go on. <laughs> oh, my God. So... <laughs> Where did you guys think Wendy, Michael, and John were, were holed up this whole time? Because they're, they're part of Peter Pan. They're part of Neverland. Like, we knew they had to be lurking somewhere. Yeah, I didn't think he kidnapped her. Um, where were they this whole time? <laughs> In my opinion? I thought they were dead. I, they were I, yeah, I thought they were at home. I thought he left them alone. And lo and be, behold, oh. that was in the other box. To be yeah. honest... In this twisted wonderland, I didn't even think of Wendy, John, and Michael. Like, they didn't cross my mind until they said, Pan's got our sister captive. And I was like, holy shit, it's Wendy. Yeah, that's exactly what we said here. It was like, holy yeah. shit, it's Wendy. It went, they're, yep. Oh, my God, they're Wendy's brothers. Yeah. Why, yeah. Do you, why do you think Wendy was willing, so willing to help Pan lie when he's got I don't think she's captive. willing to. She's scared shitless. Stockholm Syndrome. Not Stockholm syndrome. She's no, she was scared. She got her captive. She, I mean, she's a young girl on all intents and purposes. She, you know, time stands still there, so she doesn't know how long it's been. Stockholm syndrome. It's true. Stockholm. It's not Stockholm syndrome. She's not doing it willingly. Okay, well, no. then explain to me how how John and Michael could possibly have known about Ariel. Because Pan knew about her. Pan goes, someone is leaving oh, Neverland. Yeah. But don't worry about it. We'll get our men on it. Yeah, we'll yeah. get our men on the ground on it. As soon as uh -huh. they saw her in the water, he calls in. And he's like, well, or not calls in. He turns to his brother and goes, uh, there she is. Well, because well, Pan, Pan, Pan knew it was her. a mermaid who left yeah. Neverland. Pan knew. Uh, how he knows and how he communicates with them, I have no clue. Yeah. I would like to know this. Yeah, but he knew, he knew that whoever left... He probably knew it was Ariel. But he mm -hmm. knew that it was a mermaid who left. Mm -hmm. so did, did I'd like to know how he communicates with other rooms. The shadow. The shadow doesn't talk. Yeah, it does. It does. does it? We haven't heard its voice yet. It's gonna yet, talk. But we it's gonna they talk. Have, we have Marilyn, Marilyn Manson, Manson on. Yeah, yeah, we already know the voice of the shadow is Marilyn Manson. We just haven't heard it talk yet. So. It's been two weeks. But, but how could he have... But how could the shadow... I've done that when they captured the shadow. Ah, uh, they didn't capture the shadow until after this had yeah. happened. They just caught the shadow they this episode, the episode, and they knew about this at the beginning of the episode. Point. I was about to say, ah, oh, no. Hmm. Mm. So, so did you guys think Ariel was gonna succeed, or did you think there was gonna be some problem? This was gonna stretch over at least another episode or so. I expected it to stretch over a couple episodes and not just be a one-off quick episode over solved thing no i mean i knew she would succeed because they needed this the they needed the, the box to to be pan so i knew that they were going to get whatever gold asked for that episode but yeah. we're not done with ariel ariel still has to find eric she's going back to storybrook where do you think eric has been like he's in storybrook he why looked, haven't we seen him he Maybe looks he's a so familiar agent. I feel like we've seen him before. Well, there's so many random citizens of Storybrooke mm -hmm. that we, you know, haven't had put into context yet. So he's probably yeah. one of those bystanders we haven't been introduced to. He's a travel agent. Well, yeah, watch. He's a travel agent or something. He's a lawyer. Because they all oh. had something to do with what they like to do. He liked to travel the world, so. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be good. That would actually make a lot of sense if he was a travel agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why would Storybrooke have their own travel agent? Or a ship Why camp? not? Nobody ever he travels out of Storybrooke. Yeah, he they had their own ships. He could work Why the docks. Why did they have their own ships? He, he could, could work, the work, work at the docks. Maybe he's a fisherman. Could be. A fisherman. Yeah. That'd, That'd be, be ironic. That would be rather ironic. Wouldn't it? Uh, wouldn't be it'd be so, it'd it's so him. ironic. It'd be actually awesome. I'm calling it now. He's all it good. I, well, I thought if, it last time that he was a fishmonger, so I don't know. What if he's a travel agent fisherman? <laughs> travel agent. Well, considering fisherman. nobody travels anywhere, he would be the most underworked and bored travel agent on the he's planet. A, he's a specifically cruise travel agent. He's yeah. a cruise. Oh, God. 
Now, did you did you guys think uh, Regina was going to hold up to her end of the deal? Mm. Yes. You know what? Yeah. If that in has past, anything to do with Henry. Yeah. Yeah. In the past, when she was still the evil queen, I would have said, fuck no. Yeah. But now, the way we've been seeing, yeah, she definitely would have held up her end of the bargain. She's not the evil queen I think queen Regina's, anymore. I just think she's past that point in her life where she screws people over just for fun. Right. Well, and her mom's not there to poke at her Anyone? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah. Regina made a deal. Ariel upheld her end of the bargain and did it, you know, rather effectively and pretty quickly, I think. So, why not? Here, you know, your bracelet will work permanently now and go find your prince. Yeah. Um, hmm. Speaking of happily ever afters, what about uh, Hook, Neil, and Emma? <sighs> Who do you think is going to end up getting hurt and who's going to get their... Happily ever after. I'm thinking both of them are going to fuck it up. Assuming they both survive. They've already both fucked it up. Oh, yeah. She, Emma's not even looking for that. They're Emma's gonna, not even looking for that relationship right now. She's like, yeah. No. After they save Henry, I think they're both, Neil and Hook, are, have going to fucked it up for themselves so much that she's not going to want to look at either of them. I actually thought you were going to say uh, they're going to fuck each other. <laughs> that That's totally also cool with. another uh, possibility. Uh, Hook seems like he goes both ways. He might. Probably. My prediction is Hook and Emma calling it. I think I, 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 I can see that because Neil's hurt her so much that I don't think she's going back. I'm going to go, throw the opposite side of the coin in here and say that She's going to get back with Neil. Hook's going to be heartbroken and go pure evil again. I don't think Hook was ever pure evil. He was. He's going to go semi more evil than he already is right now. He's not I even am, evil. Oh, he's neutral. Am, he's out for himself. I'm pro Hook being a good guy. I'm very for that. But I'm on team Emma don't need no man. Whoa. Emma so you're saying Emma and Regina? Oh. <laughs> Henry already has no, two moms. No. Yeah, right, Henry. That's the perfect uh, uh, choice. No. It's, it's, it's... My eyebrows can't get any higher. <laughs> I just looked at Mike's face. I lost it. <laughs> this is the look of a pure shock. That she doesn't need anybody, and they're both ginormous man children, and, you know. It's probably for the time being better off without anyone. I'm getting, time being, yeah. I'm getting stared at in the dirtiest way right now. Just send her to Neverland. I'm supposed to send you to Neverland. She's up. Well. Just drop her I guess right as in. long as Hook's there, we're okay. Just drop her right into a bush of nightshade. <laughs> You're all fine. <laughs> You're not going to repeat that one? Okay. So uh, we finally also get to see Skull Rock, a place I'm very interested in seeing. Yes. Why do you guys think Skull Rock is the place that brings back magic? It probably isn't. I don't think that that's what Pan wants. Pan is, is lying to Henry. It's the only way that he's going to get Henry to do what he wants. He he wants us. He wants the control of the belief. I don't know what that even. Why? Why does he want this? Con well, there's the, the there's the something. Commercial, the commercial they're showing on ABC for the next episode uh, has Wendy saying that Penn wants immortality. Like if Penn succeeds, he's going to be immortal, and Henry's going to be dead. That's what Wendy mm -hmm. says. Penn's going to be so, immortal in the sense that he can leave Neverland and be truly immortal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Where where uh, it, it it doesn't matter if time passes or not. Pan's gonna be immortal. So and Henry, so whatever he needs Henry to do is gonna get him immortality. So l let's look at this in terms of uh, Rumpelstiltskin. He's immortal. He's got the dagger, the Dark One dagger. So is P Pan's master plan to get a hold of this dagger somehow and become the new Dark One? No, that doesn't seem like what he wants. No. Because Pan is already more powerful than the powers the Dark One has, why would he downgrade himself to... 
how would it downgrade him if he this... has these powers and then it becomes more powerful? Well, he, if he no. it sounds like if he gets Henry to believe in him, which he wants him to, he he gets the power of the true believer. And he gets to control that belief. Why? Maybe to be immortal. Maybe it's there's a higher power. Sounds really bad. But that's the only thing I can think of. There's something or maybe that we haven't seen yet, maybe. Maybe he's going to steal Neverland's power for himself. Could be. I like what Rachel said, because uh, the name of the next episode is called Think Lovely Thoughts. And uh, the synopsis says, Pan leads Henry to a secret cave where he has convinced the boy that he alone can save magic and Neverland itself. But a showdown between good and evil is about to go down as Emma, Mary Margaret, David, Regina, Mr. Gold, Neil, and Hook find themselves directly on a path to Pan in an effort to save Henry. Meanwhile, back in fairy tale land that was, young Rumpelstiltskin is given a magical item that can help him make a fresh start with his father, who has been anything but a good dad. So we get to see his father. Yes, yes we do. Oh my god, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Yep. Maybe we'll figure out where Pan came from. Yep. Very well could. Be interesting if uh maybe even Pan is Rumpel's no, he can't be his father. No. He's way sense. too young for that. It could be his brother, which, we, brother, which we've yeah. already speculated about. So, I'm calling it. It's his brother. I already called it. Yeah, you I was going to say, you already called. called it like two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was me. That was all me. <laughs> but I'm calling it that it's his first cousin. His first cousin twice removed? Good around. job. Good. Now I'm going with the cousin. I'll go with the cousin. <laughs> Cousin, uncle's brother's we, former roommate. I have have we forgotten um, the verbal beatdown that Snow gave Charming? Oh my god! I tried to forget it. <laughs> she just he, oh my god, because he gets mad and he's like, "Why aren't you saying anything to me?" And I expected her to run at him and punch him in the face. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to be more angry. I wanted her to. Yeah. So, you know, th this would be the perfect time for to, to show maybe that little black spot on her heart coming out. She's but they didn't. really hard, though. Just but this, this would have been a good time for it to come out, though. Maybe. Because she's kind of vulnerable at this time. She's pissed off that he didn't tell her. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just a big ball of rage. And it would have been a perfect time for it just to... I have all at him. <laughs> yes. I have one question. What's in the box? It's Pandora's box. Pandora's well, yeah, okay, yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. Pandora's box itself. Did you guys expect Pandora's box to be part of this world? No, no. but I'm very happy that it is. So, so Pandora's so, box. I mean, we've seen Pegasus's feathers. Right. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. We also yeah. see another Greek. And you guys were fighting me so hard on Santa Claus before. <laughs> Oh my god. And now we have Pandora's box. Santa Claus doesn't seem like too much of a stretch anymore, does it? it no, it's it, it, still. Uh, uh. Hey, if they got Greek stuff in here. Where's my Hades. knife? Imagine seeing Hades as a bad guy next season. Or next season. <gasps> ah! Yeah. I love Hades. So. What about. What did we see? It was Dr. Frankenstein? We saw Dr. Frankenstein, right? Mm hmm. So how how can you tell me that we can see Dr. Frankenstein but we have no chance whatsoever of ever seeing Santa Claus? Okay, I guess we do have a chance of seeing Santa Claus at one point or another. Don't give in to him. Thank you. No, so, I'm following his logic and his logic is correct. If, you know, we got Frankenstein, which is from, you know, a Mary Shelley, I think was the author book, mm -hmm. then yes. chances are we can get Santa. Yeah, and, like, Wizard of Oz is not excluded from this. They've already no. talked about the Yellow Brick Road, I thought, at one point. Yes, and I think that's what they travel on in Wonderland. Yeah. It, I well, think that's it, it's, the... I, I've been watching that more closely to pay attention. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be quite yellow bricky. It's got some kind of floral pattern in it, almost. It looks yeah, like a mushroom. It's, sometimes it's brown when it's, yeah. like, <laughs> shadow. It looks like the spots on a mushroom. Yeah, so, I mean, it very well could be a road that connects into it and morphs into it at some point, but 
Yeah. It doesn't seem to be the true yellow brick road. Mm-hmm. Um, but what other characters did uh, we recently we were talking about that are, are going to be showing up? To be announced. They don't have an actor for or they haven't announced who's going to play him. But apparently this season we're going to see Aladdin. And he's going to be in Once Upon a Time, right? Yes. Not he's Wonderland. not going to be in Wonderland where Jafar is. He in the genie. He's going to be in regular old Once Upon a Time. Okay. Well, we're also going to be. We seeing... saw the back of Jafar's head in Once Upon a Time, so right. there's True. no saying you won't see Jafar. We're also going to be seeing Cruella Deville. Yes. And I'm really excited for that. We've we've seen Pongo. We don't know where Perdetta is. We don't know where the 99 puppies are. Well, if Pongo hasn't met Perdita, then we don't have the 99 puppies yet. But, but, but technically, they weren't all hers. They were the, still, most of them were stolen puppies. <laughs> oh. That right. they adopted. I okay. got this right here. Okay, so characters we will be introduced to this season Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Ariel, Prince Eric, and Ursula. Already got those. Rapunzel, Cruella de Vil, and Aladdin. Rapunzel. That's Rapunzel, that's yeah. interesting. How are they going to work that one in there? Who the hell knows? How have they worked Who all the, the other knows? ones? They've, they've worked in all the other ones in creative I know. fashion. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, oh. what kind of twist can they possibly put on Cruella de Vil? Everybody's got a twist. Is Cruella de Vil going to be a nice guy? Nice lady? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. I'm just reading what they've already announced. Sounds Spoilers! Like spo- Spoilers. Is Corel DeVille going to be a nice lady? I don't know. Disembodied voice of my wife. Is Corel DeVille going to be nice? Like Spoilers! Peter Pan is evil. <laughs> <laughs> she has such a goofy... She has like this goofy smile. She's like, Spoilers! Since then, she can't hear anything. Tell her Tigger's confirmed and, and Eeyore. See what she says. <laughs> also, honey... <laughs> Tigger and Eeyore and the Hundred Acre Wood are all confirmed as the season of Once Upon a Time. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> she got you on that one, Dom. She did. Uh, she may be sick, but she's not, you know, sick in the head right now. <laughs> I'd love to see the Hundred Acre Wood by. Uh, oh yeah, I would love the, to see it by the end of this, this series. But yeah, uh, Cleo. Mm. <laughs> well, actually, you guys have any other final thoughts before I, I do the sign off? <laughs> No. Oh, man. All right. 100 Acre Woods, let's go. Uh, Who would Cleo be in the 100 Acre Woods? I'm going with Piglet. Piglet, where can the people find you? I was going to go to Rabbit. Well, if I'm Piglet, I don't know where they could find me. 100 Acre (laughs) Wood, probably. I'm the one that has Piglet on my my shoulder. Aw. All right, well, you can find me on most social media at Cleomoto, C-L-I-O-M-O-T-O, and you can find me on YouTube at L-I-O-S-M-F-V-I-D-S. Uh, Owl, where can the people find you? Ooh, I, like I can it. see that. Thank you. Uh, they can find me on Twitter at Thilladren, T-H-I-L-L-A-D-R-E-N. Uh, Tigger, where can the people find you? <laughs> um, well, I don't know if you can see that. Savannah17. S e v a n n a one seven. Made my own lower third, damn it! Nice. Yes. I gotta do that. <laughs> and, and since I'm the host, I I have to be Christopher Robin. So you you can find me at phenomenon p h e n o m e d o m. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. Is this gonna be an every time occurrence? Damn yeah. straight it yeah. is. Uh-huh. At least for a couple episodes. Yeah, at least until we get tired of it. (laughs) And you could join the whole cast of the Hundred Acre Woods at uh, Facebook and YouTube.com slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Until next week. See you guys later. You, Christopher Robin, screw that. You're Pooh Bear. (laughs) Skunks are not friends. No, they are not, Mr. Puppy. Willy nilly silly old bear.